Just What's that? Sure. So you have to look at me over here. I'm now. already focused over here on that. You have to focus over right, here now. I can do that. Okay, fine. Stand okay. Up, fade up, and I'll tell you where to go. And fade up. Okay. Ron. McClarty. McClarty. M C L A R T Y. Right. They put an orange drop behind you. Now, does that go with being Irish or Scotch? Scottish. Scotch. You drink Scotch. Oh, you drink scotch. What are you, by the way? Scotch. Scottish. Scottish. Are you scotch really Scottish? And scotch really scotch. scotch. Oh, gosh. They're creative in this whole studio. Let's see. Uh, Broadway. Broadway. Lots of Broadway. Well, Where a lot from? of Broadway. Where are you from? Providence, Rhode Island. Providence. Uh, you did, you've did. you done two Broadway shows, as I see. You did the championship season? Mm-hmm. When? I was, when I was 24 years old. Really? What did you play? Uh, I followed Charlie Jernigan for a year and did it in London. I played the mayor. You really did, huh? Uh-huh. Have you been out to the coast much? No. I went out there once, and I wasn't happy with my agent out there, and I, I left. I came back. We just had a baby, and it wasn't working out. They didn't want our baby. In the, I stayed at a place called Havenhurst, Lanai. They didn't, they didn't want us there. My God, they if really everybody didn't. felt like you did, there'd be a total exodus. What? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I've blown it. Oh. <laughs> Tell me, uh, uh, you like to do comedy? Sure, yeah. And uh, how old are you? 33. Thirty-three. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know I look a lot older, but I no. have a tough life. How tall are you? Five eleven. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna tell you what to do. All right. Let me see a profile. What you think is your best? My best. I, I don't. I'll do that. All right. Now let's see your not so better, not so better best. Ah, very good. Now, let me ask you one other question. How right. tall are you? Five eleven. Five eleven. Can we get a five eleven shot? We got a 5'11 shot. How much you weigh? 5'11. Uh, I'm, I'm really heading down. I used to weigh almost 300 pounds like when I did championship season. And I'm on the way down. I weigh 212. And I'm trying to get down to about 180. You know, I mean, I'm boom, right down there. So I'm just trying to get down there. What, what, what do I see here? Soviet Union? I did a tour of the Soviet Union. I did Inherit the Wind there. You did? Yeah. With who? Whom? With me. With an arena stage. Oh, really? Arena huh? stage. Uh -huh. With arena long? I... I worked there when I, I got out of the army. My fa my his my little history is that my father wanted me to be an ice hockey player, and I played at, at Brown University. I was an all Ivy League ice hockey player, oh. and uh, I I had a couple of tryouts with teams in the American Hockey League, and I, I didn't make it. So my father let them draft me, and I drafted into the army, and then I got out of the army, and I went to Arena Stage for two years, and I just finished a movie, King Crab, which oh, which is yeah. just shown. Where did you where you playing it? I, I, uh, that's why I want to lose weight because they always have me beating people up and, and so you look like I was like ha ha happy go lucky Irishman holding and hugging people and all as I a know. casting director I, I think like you'd be a bartender that's what oh I'm no 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 a doctor and a <laughs> lawyer is sensitive of a, 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 you know a bartender in a hit series well still though uh, okay how, how about now, a happy father what scene something like do? that what are you gonna do Lizzie? Uh, Something from, <laughs> wait a minute, I'll tell you. Walter in, uh, in uh, a Diana series, that thing? That's right, Diana Canova series. Diana Canova series, right. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Shall we just do it while we just do one? No, paper? no, no. We're Uh-huh. I see. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. He hasn't been in the office all day, and they haven't heard from him. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> it's great. It's he great. is not dead. How do you know he's not dead? He could be dead. My father could be dead. That's just what I need right now in my life, a dead father. He is not dead, Walter. He's missing. <gasps> He's missing. That's even better. He's missing. He's mi I have to catch a plane to Miami Beach, and you tell me my father is missing. That's, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, I'm sorry if we interfered with your life, Walter. <laughs> Mr. Teriyaki. Mr. Teriyaki. It's a chain. Nationwide. A chain. Mr. Teriyaki could make me a millionaire. But Mr. Teriyaki's got to be flushed right down the toilet because you put my poor father out in the street. A gigolo is a man that women pay to love them. Oh, oh, now this, this is really beautiful. This is, this is wonderful. Six Japanese guys waiting for me at the Miami airport, and I'm at a sex lecture in Washington. You mean if you want someone to love you, you have to pay? 
No, doll, you don't have to pay. Rebecca. It's just once in a while a very, very lonely lady Rebecca, will. Rebecca, Rebecca, I'll buy your book, okay? It'll explain everything. Mr. Teriyaki, I could cry. Call them, Walter. Explain. 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 They're Japanese, Diana, Japanese. After, after Tempora and Honda, I lose them. Billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Money isn't everything. Oh, no, no, that is wonderful. That's what you're raising a, a communist. This... I'm going now. I'll be in my office. And if anything has happened to that poor sweet man, it'll be on your head. It's, uh, it's nice to see you again, pussycat. Was I good?